Hey everybody, in this lesson we're going to try to answer the question, how do we graph linear inequalities? And specifically, linear inequalities in two variables. So first, what does that look like? Uh, that can look anything like ax plus by is greater than c, or you might have uh, ax plus by is less than c, and of course these could be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to as well. And then the next question that we have to ask ourselves are, what are the solutions to these linear inequalities? The solutions are any coordinate pair, x, y, that when plugged into the inequality produce a true statement. And let's see what that looks like on a graph. So whenever we graph these linear inequalities, we'll get this line. And then one side of this line will be shaded. And this is where all of the solutions lie. So for this problem, the point zero, 0, would be a solution because uh, in the shaded region, all of these points would produce a true statement when plugged into the inequality. So let's see what that looks like as well. All right, here we have the inequality 2x plus 5y is greater than 9. And I'm going to test if negative 4, negative 1 is a solution or if negative 2, 3 are, is a solution. So first let's do negative 4, negative 1. So this is an x-coordinate and this is a y, and I'm just going to plug those right in to the inequality. 2 times negative 4 plus 5 times negative 1 is greater than 9. That would give me negative 8 minus 5 is greater than 9. Negative 13 is not greater than 9, so this does not produce a true statement, so this is not a solution. All right, let's test negative 2, 3. Here we have 2 times negative 2 plus 5 times 3 is greater than 9. That would be negative 4 plus 15 is greater than 9. 11 is greater than 9. This is true. So negative 2, 3 is a solution. All right, so take some time to take these notes here on graphing. We have three main steps. The first is going to be graph the boundary line. And that's whenever we're just going to use our graphing linear equations rules. Um, the only difference is we're going to use a dashed line if we have a less than or greater than, and a solid line if we have a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to. Sorry about that. So let's do that for each of these examples over here. The first is y is less than or equal to negative 3. So we know from our equations rules that y equals negative 3. This has no slope. It's a zero slope. And y is always negative 3. So I've got this negative 3. And since it's less than or equal to, I can put a solid line at y equals negative 3. All right, in the other example, we have x is less than 2. So I'm going to act like I'm... Uh, graphing x equals 2, which is a vertical line, because x would just always equal 2. Now, the only difference here is I have to use this dashed line. And the reason that I have to use the dashed line is because it's strictly less than 2. So this line is not included in the solution. The next step in this process is to test a point not on the boundary line and uh, to determine if it's a solution. So let's do that with 0, 0 for each. We're going to test the point 0, 0 in each of these. So here we go. Here we have a y value of 0, so I'm going to replace this y with that. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 3? No. So 0, 0 is not a solution. And the next, uh, 0, 0 has an x coordinate of 0, so is 0 less than 2? Yes. So in this case, 0, 0 is a solution. So step three, if it is a solution, we're going to shade that side of the line. If it is not, we'll shade the other side. So in this first, 0, 0 was not a solution. So I have to shade the other side of this line. And that's where all of the solutions lie. In the second example, x is less than 2. 0, 0 is a solution, so this will be the side that I shade. 
and all of these values are going to be less than 2. All right, let's try it with a slightly more complicated inequality. So here we have 5x minus 2y is strictly less than 4. So I'm going to have to use my um, graphing rules and just act like I'm graphing 5x minus 2y equals negative 4. In order to do that, it would probably help if I went ahead and solved for this y. So I have 5x minus 2y is less than negative 4. Um, I'll sub there's a lot of different ways I could go about this. I could add 2y to both sides, but I'll, I'll subtract 5x from each side. Uh, so I have negative 2y is less than, these are not like terms, so negative 5x minus 4. And then I'm going to have to divide by negative 2 to get the y by itself. So I'm going to divide each thing by negative 2. And notice, whenever you divide by a negative, you have to flip this sign. So y is greater than 5 over 2x plus 2. All right, now that I've got it down to y is greater than 5 over 2x plus 2, I know that the slope of this line will be 5 over 2, which is positive, so I know it's going to rise. And then this 2 over here, that's my y-intercept at 2. So I plot at 2 my y-intercept, and then I'm going to go up 5 to 7, and then over 2. I can also go, if I wanted to, I could go down 5 to negative 3, and then back 2. Uh, to, to connect these dots, remember I have to use a dashed line because this is not greater than or equal to, strictly greater than. So you use a dashed line. Now I can test a point. Um, I'm going to test the point 0, 0 because it's just outside of this line. And 0, 0 is always such a nice, easy point to test, as long as it's not on the line. So my y value is 0 is greater than 5 over 2 times my x value of 0 plus 2. So 5 over 2 times 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 2? No. So this point is not in my solution. So I'm just going to shade the other side of this line. All right, finally, why don't you give it a try? Try and graph 6 plus 2y is greater than or equal to 4x. And then uh, we'll come back together in a moment. So just go ahead and pause the video and see if you can graph this on your own. All right, so whenever you were doing this, hopefully you solved this for y, and you got y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. That has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. So we started here at our y-intercept of negative 3 and went up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Um, graphed it, used a solid line because it's greater than or equal to. And then 0, 0 is just outside, so I tested that point by replacing my x and y with 0 and 0. I got 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. That was true, so since it's on this side of the line, we shaded this side of the line. And that's how we graph linear inequalities.